My name is Andy Godry of Investor Intel. I'm joined today by Keith Merker of WeedMD. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me, Andy. Pleasure. Welcome. So WeedMD has been in the news a lot lately. Um, you guys recently announced your greenhouse expansion in Strathroy, Ontario. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to know what your greenhouse deal, how it differs from what your peers are doing. Wow. In a lot of ways. So thanks for asking. Um, and again, thanks for having me here today. Uh, so what we've done in Strathroy has a number of benefits for WeedMD and our shareholders. And in a lot of ways, I think, stands apart from some of the other expansion strategies you've seen across the industry. Um, essentially what we did is we landed upon an opportunity whereby WeedMD could lease five acres of greenhouse on a state-of-the-art property. So it's a 98-acre farm. There's 14 acres currently under glass that up until quite recently was growing tomatoes, for instance, in the five acres that we're currently retrofitting. Um, what we did is we leased that five acres from the group that owns this property, and they're still operating the remaining nine acres growing tomatoes currently and peppers and eggplants. Um, this five acres that we've taken over for a very, very, very low cost to Weed MD uh, is currently being retrofitted. We will have that complete uh, over the next month and a half. We've already received approvals from Health Canada for the licensing. So what that means is that the license will be issued once we are complete our security and that passes uh, through Health Canada's hands. Uh, and we'll have plants in there early spring for harvest to be ready by late summer. So in other words, what we've done is for a very low capital investment, um, come up with a strategy whereby we will have one of the largest production platforms under the ACMPR in production come this summer ready with harvest ready for the advent of the recreational market in Canada. So we're tremendously excited about it. One of the most capital efficient and efficient with, in terms of timeline and get to market uh, that you'll see in the industry. That's wonderful news. And with uh, pending legalization comes summertime, what's your strategy moving forward? So yeah, um, we've got a bunch of strategies that we're working on currently. Um, unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to disclose some of them to you quite yet because it hasn't been publicly disclosed. We haven't quite dotted the I's and crossed the T's on a couple of our exciting strategies. What I can tell you is that we do have um, you know, relationships and uh, we are at the table with the various provincial um, agencies to provide our product. Uh, on the branding side, again, that's the part that I haven't disclosed yet and unfortunately I'm going to have to leave you in the dark today on that. Um, but stay tuned and you're going to see some really exciting stuff coming from WeedMD. I think critically beyond that, we've got, again, a very um, successful platform currently operating in Elmer full licensing regime. So we'll be able to provide dry product, we'll be able to provide oil, we will also be able to provide live plants for those provinces that allow it under the legalized recreational regime. So that sets us apart a little differently than some of the other producers who don't provide that. Um, also, uh, our product uh, that's coming out of the facility these days is just fantastic. So we know that regardless of whatever brand name is on this product, people will eventually um, realize that WeedMD is, is the place to go. So we'll have that going. We'll also have the production coming from the new facilities. So uh, we're very excited to be uh, providing a quality product to the new recreational regime in Canada. That's, uh, that's all good news. Mm -hmm. um, for the next two quarters, what can shareholders expect from WeedMD? So I think that, you know, I've, I've, I've touched on a few of them, one being, you know, obviously the licensing and rollout in the new facility, which is, you know, that is mission critical for us and that is um, what we're laser focused on, quite frankly. Beyond that, we're working on a number of different business development oppor opportunities, both here in Canada and internationally. So you can look to see some international exposure from the company. You can look to see further product development. Um, we'll have our full year 2017 numbers coming out at the end of this month. Um, and then, you know, I can tell you that our sales are tracking in the right direction. Our patient acquisition is, is rolling along smoothly. So uh, we've got some great numbers that we look forward to uh, rolling out over the next couple quarters as well, which is, you know, to us, it's really important, obviously, and hopefully to our shareholders and investors. That's a lot of great news coming from WeedMD. Uh, we're really excited that you're able to take part in this year's 7th Annual Investor Intel Summit. Buds, batteries, and blockchain, and we look forward to seeing you there. Awesome, me too. Thanks.